Hi guys! So in this video I'm going to show how I turn these Warhammer 40k sprues into the great unclean one. So if you have any sprues lying around guys don't throw them away as they can be turned into some great things. So the first thing to do is to get a base for the figure and in this case I'm going to use this old CD holder. So I'm going to keep hold of the CDs in my bit box because you never know when they might come in handy. As there's a bit of a ridge I'm just going to pack the bottom out in a silver foil and this is nice and lightweight and very cheap to use. As the melted sprues are very gooey and runny I'm going to use these polystyrene balls for the inside otherwise this figure would look like a melted snowman. So I'm just going to cut up the balls and glue them into place just trying to make a rough shape. So I'm using reference pictures that I can find online and then it's just a case of keep building this up until I get a rough sort of figure that looks something similar to what I've seen. So guys if you have any unwanted sprues by all means send them my way and I'll see what I can do with them. So that's the rough shape done now I'm just going to fill in all these little nooks and crannies using more of the silver foil and using the hot glue gun to fill up any other little gaps. And there we go, there's a rough shape of how it's going to look. And I've also used the glue gun to fill in the gaps in the base as well. And as you can see, I'm finally wearing gloves. Probably the first time PPE gear has been worn on this channel. And here's my jar of melted sprues. I know some people say I should be using the word dissolved, but I prefer the word melted because to me, if it's dissolved, there'd be nothing left. So each to their own, I'm going to use the word melted. So now the fun part of putting the melted sprues over the figure. And the reason I thought of making the great unclean one was due to the fact this melted sprue stuff, it just, it's like ooze and it just melts down. So now I've pretty much covered the figure, I can just go round, pushing it, moving it, trying to make some sort of shapes out of it. But I just love the feel of this stuff, it's kind of like a firmer syrup, so it does just ooze down. So I left it to firm up for about an hour or so. So it's fairly firm, but you probably still can push and make indents in it. So I was thinking for the head and the hands, it would be a bit difficult making it out of the melted sprues as basically it all just end up on the floor. So instead I'm making them parts out of this oven drying clay. So it's just a case of getting them into the rough shape I want them. So I'm putting them on the wire because I need to take them off so I can put them in the oven. And when I take them out, they'll fit back on the wires. So this stuff's really easy to use as it's just like plasticine. So you can form things with your hands and then use some tools for finer details. So 
so they've been in the oven for about 30 minutes and now it's rock hard. And now I can just glue all the bits into place. Oh, a few of the fingers have just fallen off, but that's okay, it just adds to the uh, the features of this character. Even his little fingers fallen off, so I better glue that back on as well. So I've added some more polystyrene balls to his shoulders just as I thought they were a little bit too low and a bit more glue just to fill in all the gaps. And now I'm going to put on some more melted sprues just to cover everything up. So as it is also a little bit soft, I can add some more indentations and a few more grisly little details. So to add some spots and pus bits to this character, I've got some PVA glue inside this syringe which I can just make little droplets all over his body. This is something I've done before in a previous video well, I did the same sort of thing, to, but to make rivets that time. And there we go, here he is, all finished, with a coat of grey primer. So this is where you may want to turn away, guys, because obviously I'm going to have a go at painting him. And my painting skills are very lacking. I have been watching lots of other YouTubers doing their painting skills and it doesn't seem to be rubbing off on me at all. To say I'm pants would be an understatement, but hey ho, I'll keep trying and one day I might get there. And there we go guys, that's him done. Let me know what you think of him in the comments. And if there's anything else you'd like me to try and make out of the melted sprues, leave that in the comments too. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button and leave some comments below. Let me know what you thought of this video and what you might want to see me do in the future. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell just so you get informed of when my videos come out. If you are able guys, it'd be great if you could share this on Twitter, your Facebook page or Facebook group, Discord and Reddit, that'd be awesome. Here's another video you can click on to see more of what I do. Okay guys, that's it. Bye for now.